everybody, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to invite you guys to come along with me while I make some festive autumn Halloween Rice Krispie treats. They are going to look like little pumpkins and I'm going to invite you guys to come along with me while I'm cooking them and we're going to chat about sort of my Halloween plans and also um, what I've been reading lately. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you do, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Um, please, please leave a comment. I respond to all my comments as much as I can. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It really means the world to me. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy coming along with me and making some autumn uh, Rice Krispie treats. So for our Rice Krispie treats today, we're going to be using Rice Krispies, of course. We're going to need butter. Um, I really like this brand. It's the Gailey uh, Salted Butter. This is the brand that I really enjoy using. And um, I also like to use these rose gold uh, pretzel sticks. These are rolled gold pretzel sticks. These are my. This is my favorite brand of pretzels. Um, I'm in Canada, so depending upon where you are, you may not be able to get these exact things. But then I also got this fabulous uh, Clubhouse neon uh, food coloring, and we're going to be making them orange. These pumpkins. So I have the yellow and. Well, kind of a greeny yellow, but yellow and uh, red uh, food colorings here. And then, of course, you can't have Rice Krispie treats without marshmallows. So I have here, I have measured out 10 ounces of marshmallows. Um, this is what the recipe that I have calls for. Your recipe might be different, um, but yeah, 10 ounces of mini marshmallows. I like to use the miniature ones. You probably could use the big ones if like if you're really strapped for money you could probably use the big ones and just like cut them I don't know I don't know how well that would work I don't know how cuttable marshmallows are um, but anyway yeah anyway. so um, I am going to go ahead and get prepped here and I will check in with you guys in a minute uh, once I kind of have this stuff going um, I'm so the first thing I'm gonna do just so you guys know is I'm going to put my butter in my my big pot over there I'm gonna add my marshmallows melt them and then I am going to add the food coloring to turn it orange I will oh my sorry about that guys my tripod just kind of knocked back a little bit um, I will have the, I'll have that going with the food coloring in there so it'll have my marshmallows, butter, and food coloring and then I will add my Rice Krispies and then I will um, once that is all kind of mixed together I'll turn it off and I will check in with you guys I'll be able to start actually forming the uh, pumpkins once that mixture is done just gonna wash my hands before I actually start cooking because you know COVID safety and all that stuff and uh, I will check in with you guys in a little bit once I have this kind of mixture kind of ready and I will be sitting at the table and forming the balls this is also a great sensory activity um, I love the feeling of like Rice Krispie treats there's just something about it that's just so like sensorily pleasing sensory wise pleasing so if you guys have anyone in your family who is autistic uh, this might be a great activity that you guys could do together um, so I'll be sticking in the pretzel sticks and then I have something special for the leaves that I'm going to be doing well they're not really gonna be leaves they're gonna be more like tendrils because that's easier for me but We'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so we're back. So I have finished the pumpkins, as you can see. And all I did was I just took um, some canola oil. 
Uh, you can also use Pam or nonstick cooking spray. And I just put it on my hands uh, and I just kept adding it to my hands uh, whenever my hands would get sticky. Uh, just to keep the just to keep it from sticking. Um, it doesn't affect the flavor at all of the uh, of the Rice Krispie Treats, so that works really well. Um, my mom helped me just by lining the, um, the my cookie sheet with some wax paper because I forgot to do that. So yeah, so for the stems, as I said, I'm going to be using these roll, roll gold pretzels. Uh, I think the pretzels are going to be really nice to help um, just sort of balance out the sweetness. So I'm just going to take, I'll just turn you guys so you can see. So I'm just taking each pretzel, just put it, uh, put it in this one here, and I'm just sticking it in the top so it comes out like a stem. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of those. Now, as for what I've been reading, um, so I finished Serpent and Dove. There's a review for that up on my channel. So if you want to know my thoughts on that, uh, you can go and watch that review. Um, you'll see the Serpent and Dove like the and the witchy kind of thumbnail. And it says, uh, did I like it? I stayed up all night to finish this book. So if you really want to know um, my thoughts on that book, you can go and watch that review video. Um, and so the next book that I want to start, I'm having a hard time deciding. Um, so maybe, actually, you know what? Maybe you guys can help me decide. Um, so my options, obviously I have a lot of options because I have a lot of books um, and it's still growing. Um, but my two options that I've kind of narrowed it down to are The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, um, as well as Crier's War and um, mm, yeah, I think m mainly those two are pretty much what I've narrowed it down to. Um, I am still reading the Twisted Tales um, straight on till morning. Um, that book has proven to be very, very good, but I usually have two books on the go and I either have one book for during the day and a separate book for at night, or I will have one book for when I'm at home and one book for when I'm on the go. It just depends on which one just depends on how well I've been sleeping. So if I haven't been sleeping well, I will usually have one book for during the day that I just take with me everywhere and then a separate book for when I'm laying in bed at night. Um, but if I've been sleeping a bit better, then sometimes I'll just have an, um, an at home and on the go kind of book. So anyway, so right now, um, the Straight On Till Morning is kind of my day book. Um, so I'm looking for a night book to read. Oops. Dropped a pretzel. So, um, yeah. So just looking for that, and uh, so hopefully you guys can decide which book would you guys like to hear about. Uh, which book would be the book that you guys would want to hear a review on? Would you prefer to hear a review on Crier's War, or would you prefer to hear a review? of uh, Straight On Till Morning, you can let me know, or Straight On Till Morning, or um, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Uh, so either Crier's War or The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, let me know down below which one you guys would like to see, um, and depending upon how many votes I get for each book, um, I will choose then which one I read. Um, I'm going to also put up a poll on my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is at little Aspie bat. You can find me there. Um, I update there fairly regularly. So I'm going to see, I'm going to try to figure out how to do polls. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'll figure it out. But I'm going to try, put a poll up on my Instagram. Um, and you guys can then vote, uh, for which book you would prefer to see a review on. So our stems are done. I think they look fantastic. Now the next thing, and this was the surprise, this is what I'm using for the leaves, or actually tendrils, um, 
and these are um, fruit roll-ups. Um, I'm using the green ones. I gotta see if I can figure out which ones are red and which ones are green. Uh, oh, that's a red one, obviously, because it says watermelon on it. Watermelon and green apple. There we go, green apple. So I'm going to just take the fruit roll up out and I'm going to unroll it and I'm going to use some scissors and I'm just gonna cut it into some long tendrils and apply them to the um, to the outside of my pumpkins here. So I will do one just so you guys can see. I should wow I forgot how sticky these things are definitely candy for sure when I was a kid I used to think that these were real fruit when I was young I used to think that they were actual fruit well later in life I got proved wrong let's see here okay all right so I have my fruit roll up and I'll be right back just take a pair of scissors So I'm just, my scissors, and I'm just going to cut, and in case you're wondering, yes, these are clean, they're sanitized. I washed these and sanitized them before I started. So very important, um, if you're going to be using these to cut something that someone else is going to be putting in their mouth, you know, COVID safety, make sure you sanitize them first. Wash your hands, all that jazz. So I'm going to just cut this as well as I can I'm not a very good cutter person but that's good and I'm just gonna kind of kind of turn it kind of twist it so it becomes kind of like a like a tendril like this and then I'm just going to apply it to the outside of the pumpkin and I'm going to try to get it so that it looks like it's kind of growing out of the pumpkin and I'll do another one so I'm just going to do this and I'm going to cut some people use just um, like Smarties or like Jolly Rancher candies that they just sort of press on but I don't know I like this look better I like the look of the tendrils. I think it look, makes the pumpkins look more kind of authentic. Albeit they didn't turn out quite as orange as I would have hoped, um, but that can differ, I think, just depending on the food coloring that you use. Um, so I don't really know. I'm not very experienced with this, but I'm just gonna kinda put it on and kinda make it this way. It out on that side and yeah so there we go oh not that that's just the fruit roll up but you can see here pull this one off there it is there's my little pumpkin masterpiece of a of a Where's Crispy Square? So I'm going to do ahead and do the rest of these. I'm going to take a picture of this for the thumbnail. And um, yeah, please go to my Instagram and vote uh, on or leave a comment below voting on which book you would like to hear a review on, um, Addie LaRue or Cryer's War. And I will make sure that that is the next book that I pick up. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay tuned uh, because the next video, um, I think I'm going to set up now that I have the tripod, I'm going to do a how well does my husband know my bookshelves. Um, so I'll be featuring him, Matt, on, this, on the video so you guys will be able to see how well he knows my reading tastes. 
So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys all next time. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Hi, guys. So um, my tripod is still in the kitchen. I'm just popping in quickly to um, talk to you guys because... I just realized that I didn't actually talk too much about my Halloween plans. Um, I talked about what I was currently reading in the video, but I didn't actually talk too much about my current um, Halloween plans. So I just wanted to pop in really quickly and talk to you guys about that. So for Halloween tomorrow, um, Matt and I are going to just sort of go into the city and we're just going to do some shopping um, and just, you know, treat ourselves a little bit. And then uh, we're going to um, we're gonna come home. The house is already decorated. We're gonna come home and we're going to uh, have supper with my parents. And then um, we have a big kind of home theater. Um, we don't generally watch stuff together too much, like the four of us. So except if it's like a special occasion or whatever. So. Um, and my mom almost like never picks what we watch just because she's not, she doesn't ever really want to pick um, what we watch. But it was about time that she did. So we told her that she was picking what we were going to watch and she picked um, Goosebumps 2, which is on Netflix. Um, I think she wanted to watch the first one, but it's not on Netflix at this point, so... Um, yeah, so we're going to watch, watch Goosebumps 2, and, um, we're going to, I didn't really want to watch something that was overly scary, um, I don't mind watching something that's a little bit scary, but I'm more into the more festive side of Halloween. I do like, like, spooky decorations and stuff like that, but in terms of, like, actually being, like, really scared, um, that's just not really my thing, so... Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be a lot of fun, and that's basically our Halloween plans, just having a quiet sort of stay in Halloween at home, and, um, I think it's going to be fun. We're going to watch that. Um, my mom and stepdad are watching the, uh, The Haunting of Bly Manor, uh, in the back room right now, um, and so we're... I didn't really want to watch that with them. I think it would be just too scary for me, um, for my liking. I'm, I'm very, very picky about my scary movies. Like, I don't like slashers. I don't like anything that's like, how many ways can I kill a person in 10 minutes? I don't like a lot of blood. I don't like, um, movies that really seriously scare me like to the point where I'm up and I can't sleep because I already have sleep issues and chronic nightmares so what you know causing me to have you know be more scared doesn't help matters um dog anywho um so yeah so it's just popping in um but I do like some scary movies like I like the paranormal activities we've seen all of those um I like um yeah those are pretty much the only real scary scary movies that I liked I like the exorcism of Emily Rose that was good um yeah that's pretty much it um and my um yeah, so I, I like those kind of scary movies, and obviously I like, I love more kind of festive movies like Casper, The Addams Family, all those kinds of movies. Um, I really, really enjoy, so. Okay, I just wanted to pop in and tell you guys that. Alright, now I'm actually going to go this time. Alright, bye.